What's up everyone? Today we're gonna to be solving leak code 859 buddy strings. And this pretty much takes two strings as input and the output is gonna be true or false. Now it's gonna be true if we can swap two letters to make A into B. We can take AB, swap it and make it true. AA, swap it, make it AA. And then AB, we can't swap it. So it's gonna be false. Now, if for example we had yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, cool. So the first thing we have to do is check if they're the same length or not. If they're not the same length, you have to return false. So boolean, let's write it out. Boolean buddy strings. String A, string B. is not equal to b dot length return false now if they're not the same then we return false now the way I'm gonna solve it is I'm gonna use two booleans to keep track if letters are repeating and I'm gonna keep track using a list of integers the positions where the characters are not matching if they're not matching and I'm gonna keep use sets for each one of the words to keep track of <coughs> whether a character is repeated or not. So, uh, let, let me write out the data structures. There's a set characters, set A, and then you hash set, set of characters. Set B, we have set list of integers to keep track. Let's call it POS for position. And you array list. And two booleans. Boolean repeat A is false. We're so these keep track if there's any repeating characters in each of the strings and if there are I'm gonna set them to true so this is what we're gonna start with as far as as far as flags and data structures now let's get into the meat of it for int i equals zero i is less than a dot length and we can do less than a dot length because we've confirmed that a and b are going to be the same length otherwise we've already returned false i'm going to do character a is a dot char at character b b dot char at i if a if a uh, set a dot contains a I'm gonna set a repeat or what did I call it can't remember but I think I called it repeat a or repeat yeah I think I called it repeat a to true if set b dot contains B, the character, I'm going to do repeat B is set to true. I'm doing this off the top of my head, so excuse me if, I forgetting, if I'm forgetting the variable names. Now, contains that one. Now, the next thing is if A is not equal to B, the character is not equal, I'm going to get the position of that and then add it to I. And then at the end of this for loop, of course, I'm going to regularly add the characters into the set. And that ends the for loop. So now what's going to happen is that we've kept track of where the two positions are. If there's two positions, there might be more, in which case it's going to be false. But we're going to keep track of where there's a mismatch.
So now we check if position dot size is two, right? If there's two mismatches, then if now let's say for example the position looked something like three and f eight. So what this means is that the character at three at, for A and the character at three for B are not the same. So, same thing with eight. There's a mismatch in position eight. So only if the size is two, which means because we can only swap once, if that's the th thing, then the, the character at A's three must be equal to B's eight, and B's of three must be equal to A's of eight. This is pretty much the logic I'm going to be writing here. If um, a char at pos dot get zero equals to b dot char at pos dot get one and b dot char at I get zero is equal to a dot char at pos dot get one then we can return true now if this doesn't work out that's the two if statements if this doesn't work out we can check to see if both of these strings are equal and there are some repeating characters. There's at least one repeating character. That's why we just needed a flag to check if there are repeating characters in A and repeating characters in B. This is if a and b are if a and b are equal but there's no repeating characters, we return false. But if they are equal and they have repeating characters, then we return true. That's what this pretty much does. If none of what we tried works out, then we return false. So let's recap what we did. We had a list of integers that kept track of mismatching positions. We had to find out if they're repeating characters. And then we checked if the size of the position differences was 2. Then we saw if we could swap two characters. If that was true, we returned true. Else, if they're both equal and there's repeating characters, like in this case, then we return true. But if there's any other case, then we just return false. So that's how I solved code 859. If you like the video, please subscribe. It'll motivate me to make some more.